What's up, freaks? We are here set for boxing, kickboxing. You don't need your gloves on yet. We're gonna take some time to get warmed up. Get yourself situated if you have gloves. Get them aside if you have some to punch. Get it set. If you don't have any to punch, I'll be punching the air. The freaks in the back will be beating the crap out of Bob and the kick bag in the back. So if you don't have any to punch, it doesn't matter. You're gonna get pretty much just as good of a workout. We are gonna spend a good amount of time warming up the upper and lower body. We're gonna be throwing tons of kicks. Punches, hooks, uppercuts, knees, elbows, kicks. What's up, Jeffrey? All right, so let's get loosened up. We're gonna start right off the bat. Beth is here, of course. Clara, what's up? All right, so we're gonna get your hips started first. We're gonna loosen up your hips to start. So you're gonna hold on to something like Bob's noggin here. We're gonna start with front swings. Whatever side you're holding on to the wall or couch, whatever, you're gonna fling your right hip up and back, up and back, and let your opposite arm fling with it. So let's do it. Hit about six to eight times. <sighs> Breathe it out. We need it to be loose. Don't muscle it up there with your hip muscle. You wanna fling it up, whip it, fling it, whip it, fling it, and switch sides. <sighs> Left leg or whatever, whatever leg. Whatever side you're holding on to, that's the same side you should be flinging your hip with. Your arms should be going with it, flowing back, because you're starting to loosen up those shoulders at the same time. Now face your wall or your target, go back to the first arm, and you're going to go side to side. You can see I'm going to turn towards the left, fling towards the right, and I'm just whipping it side to side. Just get ready for those kicks, knees, you want the hips greased up the same way we loosen up the elbows and the shoulders, and the other side. Whip it, whip it, turn to the left, turn to the right, so turning that hip, opening the hip up, and then turning it over. We're going right to it. And good. We're gonna go forward shoulder circles while you're getting your movement, going forward, or moving around. You're gonna be forward, walking around the floor while you're flinging shoulder circles. Five or six steps, and then backward shoulder circles, five or six steps backwards. So backwards while you're stepping backwards. Watch where you're going. Forward shoulder circles going forward, backward shoulder circles going backwards. Keep moving, keep moving. Yes, keep rolling. So now let's go back to forward. Forward coming forward, backwards going backwards. You can go in a straight line, you can walk around. Just keep switching, a few each. Forward going forward, back going back. Same way we just loosened up our hips, we're now loosening up our shoulders. Fling those forward. All right, we're gonna open that chest up. Fling it open, catch your first stretch. While your feet are just still moving around, as we're getting flowing, we're getting ready to work. Fling it. Catch it, fling, catch, fling, catch. Now we're gonna walk forward with knee hugs. Hug the knee, step forward, hug the knee, step forward. And then we're gonna go backwards once you're out of space with a quad stretch. Back, stretch, back, and a quad stretch, right here. Keep going backwards until you're out of space. Come forward with those knee hugs again. Read it out. Hold it up there for one to three seconds if you need to. So at the same time, you're warming up this leg, getting it ready for balance because you're throwing kicks and knees. You're obviously going to be on one leg. And backwards for those quad stretches again. Quad stretch. Bring that heel, bring your heel to your body not your body down to the leg. So let the leg come to you. So you're standing upright. Leg you're standing on. You're balancing, warming up that balance while you keep that knee slightly bent. Hold it for as long as you need to. All right, let's bounce it out. Shake it out, shake it out. Shake those arms out, shake them. Loose, wake your asses up. We're getting ready to roll. All right, let's get into your boxing stance. If you're right, your left leg is forward, your right leg is back. Hands are up, elbows in tight to the chin. Listen to the rules for today. These rules are gonna be for all day. Whatever, what's up Ray? Ray's over on Instagram from Virginia. Hands are up, 
elbows in. Listen up to these rules. Every combo, depending on the last punch of the combo, that's going to determine the alternate strike you're going to do. So on our straight punches, we're always going to add a kick, an opposite side kick. If your combo ends in a hook, we're going to end with an opposite side elbow. If our combo ends in an uppercut, that's our five to sixes, and we're going to review all this, we're going to add an opposite side knee. Sam, what's up? Ava, the usual early freak crew. So first, let's go over our basic punches, just to get loosened up. Let's just start with a one, boom, by itself, one. Lay on your feet, bounce around, You're straight left. You don't have to stay in place. Get some rhythm. Blow around. You don't need your gloves on yet. We're just loosening up just to get the rules down. Add a two. Add a straight right to that. Pivot on that right foot. Turn that right hip. Right into it. Add in a three. Left hook. Let's get the punches down first before we go into those rules and start adding those alternate strikes. One, two, three. And in four. That's the right hook. Straight, straight, hook, hook. Let your feet bounce in your step. Boom, 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 boom. And the five. That's our left uppercut. One, two, three, four, five. Easy stuff so far. Straight, straight, hook, hook, upper. Hands up, hands up. Bounce in your step. Straight, straight, hook, hook, upper. And in the six. Straight, straight, hook, hook, upper, upper. Light, light, light on your feet. Upper, upper. So that's our one, two, three, four, five, six. One more time. One, two, three, four, five, six. Shake it, shake it, shake it. We're just getting loosened up. So our alternate strikes are going to be kicks, knees, kicks, elbows, and knees, depending on what punch you're in the combo. So let's just practice those alternate strikes first. Let's just start with a right kick. Right kick. Switch. Left kick. If you're in the air, you're going to go front. Once, if you have a bag, you can go roundhouse coming from the side. So in the air, I'm just going to go in front for the most part. So all same sides. Right kick, switch. Left kick, switch. Right kick, switch. We're we'll kicking with the back leg for now. You can also kick with the front leg, but for now, we're just loosening up. Opening those hips up. Knock some shit over in your house. Knock over a lamp. Put a hole in the wall. Get out there. All right, elbows. We're gonna go single elbow, left elbow. Reset, right elbow. Reset, left elbow. Reset. Elbow can come either straight across your and think about landings. Right here, boom, hard ass bone to slash a face with. So you can come straight across or even bam, a little downward. Reset, right elbow. Reset, left. Don't forget when I say left or right. We're on Facebook, so we're like a mirror here. Boom. Breathe it out. Slash it. And knees. Same as kicks. We're going to go right knee. Switch. Left knee. Switch. On those knees, you got to get that ab and waist oblique. Uh, crunch it in. To aim into that target. So you're in your stance, and boom, you need to drive it in there. Extending the hips. Hands up. Just alternating knees here. Breathe it out. Hands up. Reset each time. Boom. Boom. Bam. All right. So check it out. So each combo. You can even put your gloves on now for these. If you have a bag, you start hitting it. But we're going to go to the rules in the air here. So again. If your combo ends with a straight punch, you're just gonna add an opposite side kick. If your combo adds in a, or, or finishes, if it ends in a hook, you're gonna add an opposite side elbow. If your combo ends, finishes in an uppercut, you're gonna finish and add an opposite side knee. We got that? Simple stuff. It sounds, as I'm saying it, a lot more freaking confusing than it is. So we're gonna start to make it easy to drill these rules into your head. These are the rules all day. We're gonna add, start with just a single punch combo. So a straight left, where are we adding? Right front kick around us. Right front 
kick or roundhouse. Look at that. Because it ended on a straight, we're going to add an opposite side kick. Let's do it. If you have a bag, you can start hitting the bag right now. If you feel loosened up, you need to do a couple, a couple more rounds in the air, go for it. Do what you got to do. So we're on straight. So it's a one, right kick. Reset, bounce around. Boom. One, right kick. See, it ends on a straight. So we're adding an opposite side kick. It's only a one punch combo. So it starts and ends with the same shit. Easy stuff here. One, right kick. One, right kick. Move around in between. We're bouncing, we're flowing, we got some rhythm. It's gonna be about a 30 second set. Hands up, hands up, hands up. And don't just go non-stop like a robot in place here like this and put it out there. Move around, get some flow, get some rhythm. Listen, if an uncoordinated freak like me could find some damn rhythm, so can you. So it ends in a straight, opposite side kick. Time! Right away, you need a break after that crap. Our combo is now a two, a straight right, which means a left kick. Let's do it. Two, opposite side kick, because it ends in a straight. We're adding an opposite side kick. Get it? Get it? Easy stuff. Keep it rolling. Keep following. So it's two, left kick. You can, right away, you can turn into that kick, or after two, you can bounce and switch that, your kick, whatever works for you. If you have the balance and the hip mobility, you can throw that kick, kick. You can throw the punch right into the kick. See, I'm not even doing a switch step, because that kick is your momentum, or that punch is the momentum winding up your kick. Do what works for you. Try it both ways. Try it where you're just turning on the two and then whipping right into the left kick. Think of it as the same momentum as a two, three. Same idea, except it's just a two and a left kick. Whack it. Bam. Two, left kick. If you don't have that hip mobility to go right after it, do a two, jump and switch, make your left leg the back leg, and then do your kick. Round in between, low. Reach behind me, going to work. And time. All right. Our next combo is a three. A three. We're adding in a right elbow. Why did it think so long? This is one punch. Three right elbow. Because if it ends in a hook, we add an opposite side. Elbow. Listen to this. Listen to this. Listen. That's solid, solid bone. Think of how that elbow's gonna feel in short close. Just whack! Smash it in there. Let's go. Three, right side elbow. My hand actually hurts from hitting that. From those tiny little shots, my hand I can feel it. It's, it's, it's throbbing right now. Three, right elbow. From those little tiny short shots I showed you. Imagine those right across the face, across the eye, across the nose. Ooh! Split. Some head dope with that stuff. Three, right elbow. Think about the, the technique is the same as the hook. Just turning into it. Get those hips and weight, obliques, lats, are throwing that elbow. Not just your arm. Three, boom, elbow. Reset, hands up. So it's left hook, ends in a hook, so we add on opposite side elbow. Dig, dig, dig. Bam. Nice. Move around. You should be short, choppy, vicious strike. Boom, boom. Bash it, bash it. Turn it to it. Hands up. Hands up. A little flow. Boom, boom. Dig, 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 dig. One more, boom, boom. Time, shake it, shake it, shake it. Your only break each round is me explaining what's coming next. So the second I say time, I'm explaining that next combo. That's only a chance to shake it, stretch it, do whatever the hell you gotta do. All right, our next combo is a four, which means we add in a left elbow. Let's do it. Right hook, up 
Opposite side elbow. Move around. Boom, boom. Right hook, left elbow. The combo ends in the hook, so we add an opposite side elbow. Move, bounce, flow. Dig it, dig it, dig it. Ooh, Bob is getting slashed back there. Bob's gonna need some stitches from those elbows. Four and a left elbow. Boom, boom, slash it. Slash it. Turn, turn. Bam, bam. Hands up, hands up. Bouncing your step. Move around. A little flow. Boom, boom. Once you have it down, you're going to need to face the camera the whole time. Move around, move around. Use the space you have. Whatever space you have, use it. Four left elbow. Boom, boom. Slash that. Slash it. Bam, bam. A more. So that's a right hook, left elbow. Ha! Next combo is a five, you know what it is. A five is our left uppercut, which means we add it, it ends in an uppercut. We add opposite side knee, that's a right knee. So we're on left uppercut, right knee. Just by doing this switching from up high left and a low right strike, we're working all kinds of shifting and balancing in your core. This is core work at its freaking finest. You do this stuff, we start it, we start it. I'm just yapping, you start, you start. You do this stuff the way you're supposed to be doing it, you'll never have to, never have to do an ab exercise in your life, you'll have firm, strong, lean, functional abs. As long as you're not eating a bunch of shit. Let's do it. Five, right knee. Like my abs, I already feel it, my waist, my hips, my glutes, my lower back, all working, working, feeling it in a good way. So it's five, right knee. Left upper, right knee. Step back here so you can see more of the full picture. Hands up. Dig it, dig it, dig it. Bounce, blow, rhythm, boom, boom, and knee right up the gut. Needs to be coming under the chin. Needs to be coming right to the solar plexus or nut shot. Whatever is available, take it. Whatever opening you see, boom, drill it. Knee the nuts. Hands up, hands up, flow. Be sure you're breaking a sweat right now. Your heart rate should be up already. Mine is. And I'm just punching the damn air. And I'm already literally dripping sweat. Hands up, hands up. Move around, move around, flow. Rhythm. Keep rolling, keep rolling. Left, upper, right knee, time, 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 time. Next combo, our six, our right uppercut, six. Crunch, swivel, driving up, which means we're adding, boom, left knee. Let's do it, going in three, two, one, boom. Upper, left knee. Again, you could throw the upper and drive right to the knee, or you could throw the upper, switch steps, and then throw the left knee. Whatever works. Try them both out. Move it around. Left knee. Bounce. Crunch. Crunch. Move. Hands up. Bounce your step. Stay on the ball as your feet. Down your feet. Upper. Left knee. Right uppercut. Left knee. Six, opposite side knee. Right upper, opposite knee. Move around. Dig, 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 dig. Crunch. Boom. segments so that was the one punch combos simple stuff finish off this segment with a squat thrust to four run a punch so every time you come up on your squat thrust you're just gonna hit four run a punch down out in and run a punch at the top I need straight punches going in three two one bam let's roll should be facing your back 
One, two, three, four. Down, out, in, and up. Do it. Knees up. Make sure his high knees are not stepping on anything around you. And then the freaks, ankles. You will roll an ankle. So I'm going to disappear on Facebook while I go down there just to stay clear of these other freaks. Down, out, in, and up. More high knees, a couple more. Let's do it. Five. Shake it, shake it, shake it. All right, so we did a full round of just one punch combos. Simple shit. We're going to two punch combos coming up. Two punch combos coming up. We're gonna go several of them, a couple different ones. We're gonna start, most of the combos are gonna be at least starting off on the same side, just to mix things up. In between here, while we're yapping, while we're getting set up, this is your chance to stretch, shake it, Hydrate. Do what you gotta do. Keep moving. Active recovery. Bounce around. Getting ready. Take it. Stretch it. So our combo to start is gonna be a one, three. So both on the left side, which means we're finishing with a right bam elbow. Same rules apply. These rules apply all day, except for that cardio, so that squat plus running punch, which technically should have done it anyway. All right, let's do it. So the combos are one, three, going in three, two, one, attack. One, three, right elbow. See right at that three, that right elbow flows right into it. So it's one, three, right elbow. Hands up, chin down, elbows in. Light in your feet. So straight left, left hook, right elbow. Got it? One, three, elbow. One, three, elbow. Hands up. Punch combo, a little longer combo, so it's gonna be a, a slightly longer round. Straight hook elbow. One, two, boom. Hands up, around. Don't have to face the camera all the time. So you use a few different angles. There it is. One, three, elbow. Bounce, bounce, bounce. Stick, boom, boom. Hips is that. On that hook, so that one, lean into it. On that hook, turn your body, pivot your feet with this left hip, which sets up a perfect turn for the whack, short, short, choppy, vicious freaking elbow. One, boom, boom. There we go. Dig, dig, dig. One, three, hook. Nice. Top. Going the opposite of that, a two and a four. So your two is your straight right, it comes back right into a four, which is your right hook, which means you finish with a left elbow. Two, four, opposite combo on the right side. Let's do it. Two, four, elbow. Bounce around. Hands up, hands up. Two, four, elbow. Double pump in that right side. Straight right, right hook, left elbow. Dig him, dig him, dig him. Slash that elbow in there. Two, four, elbow. Two, four, elbow. Yes, yes, yes. Boom, boom, boom. Slash, slash it, slash it. Hook, straight. Hook, elbow. Round, bounce around. Dig it. Whoa, 
Pilates knee strikes. Make sure you're not just throwing arm punches. Let your body turn. Reset. Turn. Turn. Turn with your legs, your hips. The power is coming from the ground up. Keep it moving. Boom. Oh yeah. Bam. Full speed. High intensity. Dig it. Bam. Boom. Boom. Beating the 
shit out of Bob so bad, we knocked him out of the damn town. All right, we want to add some kicks in, so we need to end with some straights. So this one, we're going to go three, one. Opposite side kick, which is right kick. We got it, we got it. Let's do it. Begin, three, two, one, begin. Three, one, right kick. Hands up, left hook, left straight, right kick. Because it ended in a straight, so we add opposite side kick. If you notice my fist there, a little turn, corkscrew, you should be snapping that. Like you're pouring something out of the cup, you can throw that jab, you throw that one. One, three, right kick. center and shows you in the air. Let it flow. Let it flow. Three, five, right knee. 
So that's left hook, left upper, right knee. Equal amount, kicks, knees, elbows. We're trying to end with every variation. Three, five, right knee. Hook, upper, knees. Let it flow, let it flow, move around. Side, left hook, left upper, right knee. Boom! Move around, bash it, bash it, bash it. I need you turning your body. We're working, we're burning, we're flowing. Boom, boom. Drive that knee. Oh yeah! Bam, bam, bam! Hook, upper, knee. Reset. Dig it, dig it. Dig it. Hook, upper, knee. Right to the other side, we're going four, six. We're going through these, we're going through them all. Boom, boom, and left knee. Four, six, left knee. Four, six, left knee. So that's right hook, right upper, opposite side knee. Four, six, left knee.
Crunch. Boom, boom. Crunch. Turn, turn. Couple more. Let it flow. And time. Finish off this round now with a squat thrust to a run, or a plank and punch. You did squat thrust and run and punch last time. Now we got squat thrust, plank and punch. Move back here. Hopefully you can see me. So I'm going down. While I'm down here, I'm throwing two punches, come back in and up. All say which punch do you throw? One time go right, left. Next time you're down there, go left, right. Next time you're down there, go right, right. Next time you're down there, go left, left. So all say which two punches you do each time for that plank and punch. I'm gonna step here and stand up free each way so you don't break ankles, so you'll, you'll lose me when I'm on the squat thrust. So when you're down there, right, left, jump in, come up, down, jump back, left, right, jump in, and up, down this time, two right, in, and up, two left, and up, so down, when you're down there, left, right, come up, go down, when you're down there, right, left, come up, Go down again, when you're down there, right, right, and come up, when you're down there, left, left, and come up, and time, hydrate, shake it out, let's do it, shake it, shake it, shake it, Bob got knocked, his ass across town again, nice and beaten, the crap out of Bob, shake it, Hydrate, we're getting next ready for the next rounds. Coming up with some three punch combos. Get ready, shake it. We are rolling. A lot of hip work, a lot of kicks and knees, shifting of your weight. So make sure during this time, you're stretching those quads at hip flexor. Also right here. Check this stretch out in between. One leg back, it straight, turn into it to get this stretch on your hip flexor, switching sides. We're just getting ready for this next round, which we have three punch combos coming up. We're gonna fly through these. We got a lot of work left to do. All right, let's do it. Let's get set for our first combo, which is gonna be a one, Three, five, right knee. Because it ends in an uppercut, right? Opposite side knee. Let's do it. Let's do it. One, three, five. So on the left, into a right knee. So think about it. also getting that attention on this side so we can drive in on the other side. One, three, five, right knee. Boom. Reset, bounce, flow. Rhythm, move around, straight, hook, upper, knee. There it is. One, three, five, boom. Hands up, hands up. I need to breathe it out. I need you to have some energy here. We still got a lot to get to. One, three, five. And bam, drive that knee in. Straight, hook, upper, boom. Moving around. One, three, five, right knee. Straight, push, upper, boom. Bring it out, hands up. Boom, huh, huh. There it is. Breathe, breathe, breathe. Dig it, dig it, dig it, dig it. One, three, five. Drive that knee in there. One, three, five. Couple more, couple more. Three, hook, upper, opposite knee. Time. Right away, right away. You know what it is. That was one, three, five. You know we're going two, four, six. Left knee. Let's do it in three, two, one. Go. Two, four. Six, left knee. 
Triple pump in that right side. Two, four, six, boom. Two, four, six, knee. Two, four, six, knee. Straight, pull, upper, pull, opposite side knee. Straight, pull, upper, knee. Triple pump that right. Pump it, pump, 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 boom. Don't get ahead of yourself. Don't start throwing the knee while you're doing an uppercut. You'll be off balance. Keep this leg shift. Let each move set up the next move. Two, four, six, knee. Straight, pull, upper, boom. Two, four, six, drive. It is. Two, four, six, eight. Time. All right, we want to get some elbows in. So we're going to go to the basics. We're going to go with a one, two, three. Right elbow. One, two, three. And to the left hook means we add a right elbow. You should know how this goes by now. It should be automatic. You should feel yourself ending here automatically. Whack! And throw that elbow. Let's do it. One, two, three. Going in three, two, one. Let's roll. One, two, three. Elbow. This one should flow like butter. Flow like not butter. Butter is fucking nasty. This should flow like water. One, two, three. Flow like butter. Butter is really flow. Maybe butter is smooth. Nasty yeah, butter. How easily you can get sidetracked. Two, three. Boom. Slash that elbow in there. One, two, three. Boom. And dig, dig, dig. Oh 
Oh yeah. Six, five, four, elbows. Time on that one. That one should have flowed. You should have got a lot of that one in in a short amount of time because it was so short and choppy. Let those hands freaking fly close range. All right. Now we did a squat thrust to run a punch. We did a squat thrust to plank a punch. We're now combining those together. So every time you go down, you're punching. Every time you're up, you're running punching. So check it out. You're down. Two punches. You come up, run and punch. Down, come back. The other two punches. Come up, run and punch. Let's see it, let's see it, freaks. Squat thrust to run a punch, squat thrust to plank a punch. All combined. Every time you go down, do your plank a punch. Every time you come up, do your run a punch. We'll go sideways here so I don't kill any freaks. Or they don't kill me. Every time you're down, make sure you're doing a different two punches every time you're down there. Right, right. You sit here and call it out with you so you can see. You know, on Facebook, when you're down there, Come up for a full run punch. Go down. Plank a punch. Right. Left. Come up. For a full run a punch. Go down. Plank a punch. Left. Right. Come up. Full run a punch. Go down. Let's go to right. Come up. Full run a punch. Down. Two left. Come up. And four, one and punch, five. Shake it, shake it. We're going right into some burnout rounds here. So check it out. All we're gonna do is straight punches here. I'm gonna call a number. You're gonna do that many straight punches, but you still need to add your ultimate side kick. So if I say six, you're gonna go one, two, six, meaning six straight punches. I'm ending on a right, which means I need to add in my left kick. I say three, one, two, three, add right kick. And you're just waiting for the next command. So you need to let your brain trigger how many to do to stop on the right number and hit the alternate side kick. Putting it all together. We're not just here training our freaking body or training your damn mind. This is math class. Let's go. Let's do it. Two. Wait for the next one. Five. Opposite side kick. Four. One, three, nine, right kick, five, oh, almost for the wrong one, two, all right, same game with hooks, I'm going to call a number, if I say three, you throw three hooks, finish, opposite side elbow, let's do it. We're all only hooks. Two. Seven. Boom. Elbow. Nine. Seven. Three. One. Two. Three. Five. Alright, same game coming with uppercuts, only uppercuts. I will call the number and you'll hit the opposite side strike. Let's go, opposite side knee. Three. One. Four. Two. Five. And trick you. I'm gonna call a type of punch and a number. So or a, a, a so I'll say straight four. All right, and then you know you gotta add in the opposite side kick. Then I'm randomly gonna say seven hooks, four uppers in any order. Focus. This is it. Final round. Burning it out. Let's do it. Three hooks. 
Nine straight. Four uppers. Three hooks. Six straight. Opposite side, alternate straight. One upper. One hook. One straight. Five straight. Opposite side kick. Seven hooks. Finish opposite side elbow. Nine uppers. Boom with the knee. Two uppers. Four hooks. Boom. Six straights. Five straights. Four straights. Three straights. Two straights. One straight. Boom. Boom. And time. Nice work. We are done. The recovery process needs to start right now with your stretching, with your post-workout shakes ready. If you need help with your post-workout nutrition, with your shakes, with your supplementations, just send a message real quick and we will help you out with jump on a phone, get a nutritional consultation. If you need help with nutrition at all, anytime, you are a Peak Freak member, you have really unlimited access. If you need help, you can jump on a call, we can break down your day of eating, Make sure you're doing things the right way. See what you need to replace, what you need to tweak to get to where you need to be, where you want to be. Let's start with those quad stretches. Stretching that quad, but also that hip flexor. Heel to your glute. We're going to hold for 30 seconds. If you want to do it laying on your, on your side, you can do it. You don't have to worry about the balance that's late in the game. Hold that stretch. Breathing in through your nose. Out through your mouth. Ease out of the stretch. Always ease into every stretch and ease out of every stretch. Go to your left side for the quad. Breathe it out. And listen, if these at-home workouts are working for you, I know they're working for me. I'm the oldest I've ever been because all you do is get older and older. You can see it in the gray on the chin, but I'm in the best shape of my life. I'm literally just from coaching these sessions a couple times a week and then just following the recordings. I rarely get a chance to follow live on these recordings, our peak free recordings, but I, I use the recordings. I, I don't do them live, so I have to follow the recordings, getting in the best shape of my life. Pull that arm across, stretch your shoulder out. Breathe, stretch, hold it. So if you or your friends, your family members, your coworkers need a hookup, send me their information. I'll hook them up with 21 days for $21, a dollar a day to try out. They'll have full access. It'll get them full access to our peak portal, which has hundreds of hours of content. And we have something huge, huge coming up soon. A new Peak Physique app, which is going to have literally thousands of exercises, thousands of workouts, customized workouts, depending on what kind of equipment you have. Totally the next level of what we're already doing here. So there'll still will be the live sessions here. There'll still be these live recordings available, but then there's also going to be a customizable Peak Freak app coming soon. Wait till you see it. It's going to freaking blow you away. Let's get that hip stretched here and turn. We did a lot of kicks, so let me back up. So you can see on Facebook, step back with one leg, just front leg is bent, turn into it. Reach, you have somewhere to hold on to like a wall, reach up high, reach down with this arm, reach up high with this arm, so get a different angle, also reach up high and across, switch sides. Reach low, and hit a different angle on that hip, reach up high, reach middle, you're just stretching that out. If you ever need help with anything, message us anytime, 24 hours a day, we'll get back to you as soon as possible. Also, you know we have our private peak Freak operation page. You can always put it on there. If you're not a member, you would get access to that 24 hour day accountability. Because listen, when it comes down to it, training, exercise, fitness, this stuff we do is all about an outcome, all about results. It's not about all the other, all the other bullshit. I know people want to, whatever, 
get together and hang out and chit chat while we're working out. That's not what it's for. Did you see us talking? Did we have any conversations during this workout? No. Maybe a, a fist bump here and there, a high five here and there. That's about it. It's about an outcome. It's about getting healthier and stronger and living longer and having the energy to, to have a tug of war with your freaking grandkids on the beach years from now. That's what it's all about. Not all, if you're looking to socialize, go to a bar, even though you don't even know if you're going to open or not. Don't drink the fucking alcohol. Don't say that. Don't drink the alcohol. Go to a bar and hang out. Go out, go out meet your friends. Go for a hike. Go for a walk with your friends. That's socializing. Your workout is a time for you to focus on you. And that's it. Nothing else. It's about you getting results. You getting healthier. You getting stronger. Strengthening up your heart. You're not strengthening up your heart by getting together and, and, and hanging out and chit-chatting with, with a bunch of people. Of course you need that somewhere in your life, but your training session is not necessarily the time for that. You need, this needs to be your time to focus on you. So when I'm here doing these workouts by myself at home and I'm following along with our, our repeat freak recordings, I am so dialed in. My phone is turned off, notifications are off, I'm not going to be interrupted. I'm by myself in the freaking zone, so nothing can interrupt me because it's about results, it's about outcome, it's about boosting your immune system. So when shit like all this other stuff goes on, you have a, you're stronger to, to fight off all these viruses and all this other craziness, both physically and mentally and emotionally, that's what it's about. You need this you time. Set up that other time to, to go out with the friends and all this other stuff for, for other things. Your training session is your time. Like when I do my lifting, if, I'm, if I was going to a, a gym to go lift on my own or at home, I'm putting on some headphones. I probably didn't have any music on, on those headphones. That's just so I could zone in on myself, not there to chit chat and talk about a bunch of nonsense and whatever else. I'll get that stuff done. You can socialize. Of course, socializing is an important part of being a human. Obviously, we've seen when we're locked down that it, it's how much you miss it, how much you actually need it, and, and you, you need it in your life. Yes. But when it comes to training, I need you to focus on you because that's where you're going to get the best results. When you can block everything out like a horse with blinders on, laser beam focus on your training session, and that's it. All right. Anyway, if you have any questions, comments, put them down below. If not, I'll talk to you later. Beth, what's up? Yes, get off the elbows. Let's see a picture of those elbows. Show them. Post it. Anyway, I will talk to you later. You are freaking awesome. I'm sure a little freak show here has something he wants to say. child it's now 4 a.m here in california and freak show is ready to roll we got a busy day ahead of us a lot of stuff planned some events on the schedule we had to get up early get it going and what better way to kick start it with kicking some ass with you freaks i will talk to you later you are freaking awesome no excuses, no excuses.